Hello students, in this video we'll examine the Black-Scholes PDE. Recall, if we construct a portfolio by shorting one derivative, and purchasing partial F, partial S stocks, then our portfolio consists of pi, which is negative F for the derivative, plus partial F, partial S of the stock. And we saw that the stock delta S is mu S delta T plus sigma S delta W for an increment Brownian motion and delta F is F T plus mu S F S plus one half sigma squared S squared F S S delta T plus sigma S partial F partial S D W. Now we can compute the change in the portfolio. The change in the portfolio is the change in F with a negative sign plus DF DS the change in S. And we saw that when we computed this that we will get negative F T plus one half sigma squared S squared F S S and this will be times dt. Since this does not involve any random elements, since the randomness will cancel out by the assumptions, we see that this has to be equal to r times the portfolio delta t, which is r, and then I will have a minus f and a plus s, f, s. Now, times delta t, the delta t's on both sides of the equation will cancel, and we arrive at the Black-Scholes PDE. So the Black-Scholes PDE is F t plus R s F s plus one half sigma squared s squared F s s is equal to R f. And it stands that any derivative must satisfy this partial differential equation in order to be a valid non-arbitrage derivative. And we'll note, make some notes over here. This is a second order parabolic PDE. So let's see some examples of solutions of the Black-Scholes equations. If we consider f of s and t, which is simply just s, then it follows that f t is 0, f s is 1, and f s s is 0. So if we plug this into the equation, we see 0 plus r s times 1 plus 0 is equal to r times s, and we see that in fact that's true. So the function f of st, which is s, is a solution to the Black-Scholes equation. In other words, if you own the stock, that is a derivative. Similarly, we can consider the next example, f of st, which is f e to the minus r, t capital minus t, where t is the expiration time, and that's going to be a fixed time. So we can compute the derivative of this, and f is going to be we'll call f the face value. So we're thinking of this as a bond. And so we can see from this that f t, if I compute the derivative of this function with respect to t, I will have an r f e to the minus r t minus t. f s, there's no s dependence on here, so f s is 0, and f s s is 0. So we can see, by checking the equation, that r f e to the minus r t minus t 
is that equal to plus zero plus zero, is that equal to r times f e to the minus r t minus t, and we see that is in fact satisfied. So we've proven that a bond pricing is also a derivative. So between these two examples, we see that owning the stock or investing in a bond are both elementary types of derivatives. Now, every time we want to verify something is a derivative and is priced with, with respect to the arbitrage principle, we must verify that it satisfies this partial differential equation with the appropriate terminal value. In further videos, we'll see further examples of this. Thank you very much.